This is a pure spellcaster build. Creating dragons is a deal for this character. Hello guys, Genuine Gaming here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you another main character build. As usual, this is not an overpowered build, but a thematic one. Here is my House of the Dragon build, inspired by the Targaryens in the Game of Thrones. The idea of the build is first, to be able to create dragons, and not simply dragons, but powerful dragons. Second, since this is an Aeon Mythic Path build, our character is to change reality through the Transmutation School of Magic. And thirdly, to be a powerful spellcaster, the character is able to kill enemies in an instant through a single spell. The best way to achieve these three things is to go as pure Arcanist class with brown fur transmuter archetype. I play this character on core difficulty, but if you try this on higher difficulty, let me know how this character went in your playthrough. For the build proper. So we choose the Arcanist class with brown fur transmuter archetype. For the race, I would suggest half elf with kindred raced racial heritage for the additional charisma bonus. For the background, let's pick up healer so as to apply our intelligence modifier to lore nature and lore religion instead of the wisdom modifier. For the stat, set the other stat bonus to intelligence as it will be the primary stat for this class. Let's dump strength up to 7, set this 30 to 16, 12 constitution, 18 intelligence, 12 wisdom, and 14 charisma. For the skill points, I would suggest that it would depend on your party needs. As for my case, I made this character as a forefront for knowledge and lore checks. If his intelligence is high enough, I'm going to place points on use magic divine skill. For the character feat, get point long shot, then arcanist exploit, get swift consume. The suggested spells to be used will be at the end of this video. At third level, get precise shot for the character level feat. You also gain power change ability, which is an amazing ability for the brown fur transmuter. In any bonus on your stat bonus for your transmutation spell, it adds plus two bonus on spending one point of your character reserves. So when you cast bull strength to a companion, your companion is given plus 4 bonus on strength, but with powerful change. It becomes a plus 6 bonus. At 5th level, get spell penetration, then potent magic for the exploit. Once you reach mythic rank 1, get force reality for role playing purposes, then abundant casting for the mythic ability. At 7th level, get greater spell penetration, then flame arc for the exploit. For Mythic Rank 2, get Spell Penetration Mythic. At 9th level, get Skill Focus Persuasion. I would suggest to get this feat as an Aeon as you need some Persuasion checks to pass as a true Aeon. Then also at 9th level, the Brown Fur Transmuter gets Shared Transmutation. By spending 1 point of the Arcane Reserves, you can share some personal Transmutation spells to reach other through ranged Transmutation spell. This is how the brown fur transmuter make other companions or animal companions, in my case, as powerful dragons. For the mythic rank 3, get enduring spells, then cast your level for the Aeon Gaze. At 11th level, get spell focus, transmutation, then hellfire ray for the arcane exploit. For mythic rank 4, greater enduring spells, then save DZ for Aeon Gaze. At 13th level, get Greater Spell Focus, Transmutation, then Dimensional Slide for the Arcane Exploit. For Mythic Rank 5, get Ascendant Element, Fire, then Attack for the Aeon Gaze. At 15th level, get Metamagic, Persistent Spell, then Sonic Blast for the Arcane Exploit. For Mythic Rank 6, get Improved Abundant Casting. Then, Attack of Opportunities for Aeon Gaze. For Mythic Rank 7, get Full Reservoir, then Area of Effect for the Aeon Gaze. At 17th level, get Shake It Off, then Force Strike for the Arcane Exploit. For Mythic Rank 8, 
get career about at casting, then temporal job for the Aeon Gates. For Mythic Rank 9, get Last Stand, then Energy Shield for the Aeon Gates. At 19th level, get Meta Magic, Heighten, then Wooden Flesh for the Arcane Exploit. At 20th level, you gain Transmutation Supremacy, where instead of plus 2 bonus for the powerful change, it becomes a plus 4 bonus. For the spells, here are my suggestions that you should get. The rest is up to you. Level 1. Enlarge Person, Reduce Person, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Snowball. Level 2. Enhancement Spells, Bull Strength, Cat's Grace, Bear's Endurance, etc. Mirror Image, Scorching Ray. Level 3. Haste, Heroism, Fireball, Battering Blast, Displacement. Level 4. Controlled Fireball, Stone Skin, Phantasmal Killer, Acid Pit. Level 5. Genekind, Baleful Polymorph, Communal Stone Skin, Dismissal. Level 6. Greater Heroism, Dragonkind 1, Disintegrate. Level 7. Dragonkind 2, Communal True Seeing, Banishment. Level 8. Dragonkind 3, Sea Mantle, Greater Angelic Aspect. Level 9. Weird Heroic Invocation, Foresight. This is a pure spellcaster build. Greater Dragons is a deal for this character. One tip. The best dragon companion to transform so far is a dog animal companion. A dragon has 7 attacks in a round. But for the dog, if transformed into a dragon, you gain 10 attacks in a round. I do not know how it happened but you gain an additional bite and 2 claw attacks. Aside from that, after your bite, you also gain a free trip. What happens in this class is that the dragon becomes your main tank and your melee competent and the arcanist is at the back casting one-shot spells. So that is how I made the House of the Dragon build. I play this on core difficulty but if you plan to give this build a try on higher difficulty, let me know how it plays out. I hope you find the video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like to let me know. And if you want more Pathfinder Red of the Righteous video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Ciao!